Theophilus was archdeacon of the church of Adana, a city of Cilicia, and he was held in such veneration by the people that they wished to have him for their bishop, but he, out of humility, refused the dignity. It happened that evil disposed persons accused him falsely of some crime, and for which he was deposed from his archdeaconry. He took this so much to heart that, blinded by passion, he went to consult a Jewish magician, who made him consult Satan, that he might help him in his misfortune. The devil told him that if he desired to be helped by him, he must renounce Jesus and his mother Mary, and consign him the act of renunciation written in his own hand. Theophilus immediately complied with the demand. The next day, the bishop, having discovered that he had been deceived, asked the archdeacon's pardon and restored him to office. No sooner was this accomplished than his conscience was torn with remorse and he could do nothing but weep. What could he do? He went to a church and there casting himself all in tears at the feet of an image of Mary, he thus addressed her, O Mother of God, I will not despair as long as I can have access to thee, who art so compassionate and hast the power to help me. He remained thus weeping and praying to our Blessed Lady for forty days, when lo, one night the Mother of Mercy appeared to him and said, O Theophilus, what hast thou done? Thou hast renounced my friendship and that of my son, and for whom? For his and my enemy. O Lady, answered Theophilus, thou must pardon me and obtain my forgiveness from thy son. Mary, seeing his confidence, replied, Be of good heart, I will intercede for thee with God. Theophilus, encouraged by these consoling words, redoubled his tears, mortifications, and prayers, and never left the image. At length, Mary again appeared to him, and with a cheerful countenance said, Theophilus, be of good heart. I have presented thy tears and prayers to God. He has accepted them, and has already pardoned thee. But from this day forward, be grateful to him and faithful. But, O lady, replied Theophilus, that is not yet enough to satisfy me entirely. The enemy still possesses that impious writing in which I renounced thee and thy son. Thou canst oblige him to surrender it. Three days afterwards, Theophilus awoke in the night and found the writing on his breast. On the following day, he went to the church where the bishop was, and in the presence of an immense concourse of people, cast himself at his feet, and with bitter tears related all that had taken place, and delivered into his hands the infamous writing. The bishop committed it to the flames in the presence of the whole people, who did nothing but weep for joy, and praised the goodness of God and the mercy of Mary shown towards this poor sinner. But he, returning to the church of our Blessed Lady, remained there for three days, and then expired, his heart filled with joy, and returning thanks to Jesus and to his most holy mother.